Okay, now that we have our call control group set up, we have our agents set up, we have our script set up, we can go ahead and create our first application and start taking calls. So I'm going to go over to CCX Administration and I'm going to go to Applications, Application Management. And I'm going to click Add New. And it's going to be a Cisco script application. I will click Next. And the name I will call it Standard ID. I'm going to actually name the ID after the trigger that I'll give it in Call Manager, which I will cover shortly. So I'm going to go back into Call Manager and I'll go into Call Routing, Route Plan Report. And I think I want to make this in a range that is not going to get used by anything else. It won't get used by my internal directory numbers, it won't get used by auto register ports. Uh, it won't get used by anything. So I'm going to start it with 8. And this is a new system. I already know this. There's nothing there. But I just want to get you to think about that. Choose something that's not going to get used by something else. Keep these nice and separate. So I'm just going to do 8,000 for the ID. So the ID will be 8,000. And that's just for, you know, for my reference. That doesn't really do anything. Okay, and maximum number of sessions. So this is how many callers are allowed to connect to this script at once. I'm going to set it to 10. Doesn't really matter. And then the script. So this is what we uh, set up before in the previous unit. Standard and standard. Um, enabled. Yes. Description. Standard. Then I'm going to go ahead and click add. And it worked. So now we have the script. Um, loaded into a new application but we still need to have a way to call it and now I'm going to add a trigger right here and it's going to be a, sys a unified CM telephony trigger and I'm going to click next and what this is going to do is it is going to create another CTI device on call manager with the directory number that I give it here so I'm going to do the same as the ID I gave it 8000 and uh, English US device name I'm going to call it standard again description standard CSQ and then the call control group that we created inbound and I'm going to click add and that was successful now if we go back to route plan report and call manager and click find there it is click on this and it is registered the IP address is UCCX so we are good to go so as far as our setup is concerned, we are ready to take calls, but we have to make sure we have a logged in agent uh, in a ready state. So I'll show you which agent we are going to choose. So subsystem RMCM resources, and I'm going to use John Doe, and you can see that he has a standard skill, the customer service team, and he is uh, using extension 4837, which is on my physical phone. So I should be able to log into Finesse with that profile. So I will do that. I'm just going to copy that FQDN right here. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to put in 845 forward slash desktop. And there's the Finesse login. And it's going to be JDO. And I think I remember the password. And I'm going to sign in. and I am signed in. Now I'm not ready so if I called that application right now I would uh, get put in a, um, in a I would get queued up. Now I am ready but I need to be able to call this extension um, from outbound. So I set up Jabber on my computer with a different extension and I'm logged into Finesse and ready as an agent with the extension of 4837. So I can call 8000 and it will trigger that application and it should deliver the call to that agent. So I'm going to do that. And that phone is ringing. Okay, and that was a horrible sound, but it connected successfully. So um, it is working. So we created our application, we logged into Finesse, and we took a call. Um, that is it for this video. In later videos, we can build out this script if we want to, you know, maybe create some uh, on hold music, add some menus, um, whatever else we need to do. But 
Um, we have a fully operating um, <coughs> call center working. Another thing we would want to do is uh, create a DID because um, you're going to have people calling from the outside. So what you would do is create a DID and a translation pattern going to your call center. So I can set that up as well. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like it. Please subscribe. Please comment. Uh, thanks for watching.